We're ending the war on pasta. Are you ready to save some lives today? Yeah! I love you, Dr. Oz. We'll be back with a simple no cook, no cook tomato sauce that will make you never want to buy the jarred stuff again. We've been ending the war on pasta and that also involves fixing the sauce. So many jarred sauces that are sold right now in supermarket shelves are laden with sugar, additives, and they got a list of ingredients that sometimes are hard to get through. So today we are fixing the sauce too. The foodie physician, Dr. Sonali Rutter, is here with the best tasting no cook sauce recipes. So what's the buzz on the web about these no-cook yeah. sauces? So the thing is with canned sauces, they are tempting because they're quick and they're convenient. You know, at the end of a long day, the thought of coming home and trying to cook your own pasta sauce is probably overwhelming. But the great news is I have no-cook pasta sauces that I've brought with me today, and they're all really quick, really easy to make, and you don't even have to turn on your stove. Perfect. We'll go yeah. over here. The first one is <laughs> okay. we have a pasta bar set up. You can do any pasta yes. you want as well. Isn't this that, beautiful? I mean, I, the I, colors are amazing. But I want to <laughs> get everyone focused on a couple of these. One, it's how you yes. pair things together that makes mm -hmm. the Italian food so successful and these exactly. no-cook pastas work yes. because you can quickly resourcefully go anywhere you want so the first is yes. a cream based sauce because people love them for all the exactly. al you know the Alfredo sauce lovers out there mm -hmm. this is what you want to do yeah so Alfredo sauce right is typically made with heavy cream and butter lots yeah. of saturated fat so what I'm doing is I'm replacing that with avocado one of my favorite ingredients you like avocados too I right yeah Adore so them. Heart healthy, unsaturated fat, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. And you blend it up and it forms a creamy sauce just like a cream sauce. So we're going to make it for you today. All right, we've got some avocados. Why don't you go ahead and toss them into the food processor? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm good at the tossing part. Exactly. And I've got actually some baby spinach here. You could go ahead and put that in too. And I use this for two reasons. First of all, baby spinach is going to lock in that bright green flavor, uh, color in the sauce. And also you're adding some fiber, some vitamin A, some vitamin C. You can never go wrong with that. This, fresh basil. Go ahead, toss it in. And we've got some Parmesan cheese. Of course, you never want to miss Parmesan cheese. <laughs> of course not. And then we're going to add just a little lemon juice, salt, salt pepper. pepper, season it up. There you go. Juice, and olive oil. Olive oil. That Rack is and it. Rack and it. So basically, you're just putting a bunch of stuff in a, in a food processor. Dom, what do you think? Looking forward to it? I'm already eating it. Oh, you already have it? Don't wait for me. Go ahead, Adam. It's like an Italian guacamole. I love it. Exactly. I think it's like an Italian guacamole. It's All like right. Avocado. Is that what people call it? I love it. So we've actually got some finished sauce here. So why don't you go ahead, let's grab this penne over here and toss it with that. And a good little tip, by the way, is when you're cooking the pasta, save some of the pasta water. Because you can actually thin out the sauce with that, and it'll help coat your pasta. Ziggy, what do you think? I love it. It tastes like guacamole Alfredo. Oh, top of it. It's a new oh. thing. <laughs> Quite a words you go here. It, it really goes is on good. Top. Now, this idea of the, again, we talked about earlier of yes. having a, a pasta with a lot of space in it. Exactly. So for like a creamy, heavier sauce like this, you want to use a tubular shaped pasta like a penne. It's going to stand up to a hearty sauce. It's going to take up more space in your bowl, so you don't have to eat as much. All right, we got a winner here. Okay. <laughs> next up. All right, we next got a up. Tomato-based uh, yes. no-cook sauce. So this is a no-cook cherry tomato sauce, and the star of this is this beautiful cherry tomato. I love to use lots of different colors here, okay? And this is really easy to make. You're going to slice up some tomatoes, okay? You can make this with Lisa at home. <laughs> you can show off your surgical skills slicing She'll up some so tomatoes. She'll be so impressed. I've been trying for 30-some years to impress her. Really? Finally. <laughs> this will definitely impress her, I'm the tomato no-cook pasta to do it. <laughs> um, okay, so you're just adding fresh herbs. So we've got basil and parsley, but you can really add whatever you want. You know, dill would be great in here. Really, anything you have. Uh, Parmesan cheese, once again. you got to have that. Uh, some chili flakes and some garlic. Salt and pepper. That's it. Yep. Ah. Go ahead. You can use your hands. It's all right. You said be at home. Right. Okay. Perfect. And once again, olive oil. And now the great thing about this, by the way, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna toss them up here. Um, the great thing is that the longer this marinates, the better it tastes. So you can make this like on the weekend. You can make it two or three days ahead. Let it sit in your fridge, and then when you come home, doesn't work. Does it work? No, it doesn't. It, it basically infuses the olive oil with it's more flavor. Signals we made last week. Mm -hmm. Give it a taste. We, did, I, we I, also I already tasted it. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm in love. Eating, guys. Eating. I need some spice on this. Can I add some like just, some of that hot you could stuff? Just go to ahead it? and here, put hold it in this. There. Yes. I'll give it a spice. She's so picky. She's a mess. Baker. <laughs> Here, I, my, my hands are sterile. I, I just watched I them. I love it. Okay. I'll a little red pepper, too, while you're yeah. out. Yeah. I watched them yesterday, actually. Thank you. Perfect. What do you think? Taste? You know what? Just like Italian cuisine, simple, only a few ingredients executed nicely. I'd like to make an appointment at that doctor's office any day of the week. Nice. How do you like that, Sonali? <laughs> anytime. Anytime. <laughs> you're welcome. Goes well. 
Right? I a love it. Check up and love, love it. it. It's a good, check right? up and love. Excellent. Fresh, simple ingredients. All right. So, yeah, you're a happy customer. I, I'm telling you, it's delicious. We're missing two meatballs <laughs> on top of the pasta. <laughs> and that would be complete. Tastes Tastes like like summer. Good. <laughs> so, no, I thank you very much. Yeah, you got patience. You. Both my guests, experts, when they come visit you in the office, they like doctors like you. Head on over to DrOz.com for these non cooked pasta sauce recipes. They are worth the investment of time. Be right back.